Good morning, my tubies, my TikTokers, and my clappers. Sheila True Love here with you. And I want to share a clip with you, and it's from Tupac. And the way he speaks at the age of 17, very wise man, and I'm just so sorry that the world lost this amazing man. Now, I know he wasn't a perfect man, but I really, really, really loved Tupac. I loved his way of thinking, and that... that that uh, song that he wrote, Dear Mama, the way he had such mad respect for his mom, even though she wasn't a perfect woman. And I know that that mom, you you know, you she always has that with her. That was such an amazing song. But what he's talking about, you know, the kind of things that they should be teaching us in school, growing up, instead of teaching us all of this crap that we don't need, algebra, trigonometry, uh, gym, um, all this ancient history crap. If you want to learn about history, take yourself to the library, black history, American history, whatever, go and do that. But the main things they should be focusing on, let me share this clip with you. Here it goes. Oh, I hope I don't get in trouble, but, um, school is, I think that we got so caught up in school being a tradition that we stopped using it as a learning tool, which it should be like up to this day. I mean, school should be, I think there should be a different curriculum in each and every, like, neighborhood, you know? Because I'm going to Tam, Taylor Pine High, and I'm learning about the basics, but they're not basic for me, you know? And it's like, they're, they're not, to, to get us ready for today's world, they're not, that's not helping. It's just what they took, so it's what we're going to take, you know? And that's why the streets have taught me, and, um... But school is really important, reading, writing, arithmetic. But I think after you learn reading, writing, and arithmetic, that's it. But what they tend to do is teach you reading, writing, and arithmetic, then teach you reading, writing, and arithmetic again, then again, then again, just making it harder and harder, just so, to keep you busy. And I, that's where I think they messed up. There should be a class on drugs. There should be a class on sex education, a real sex education class, not just pictures and diaphragms and unlogical terms and things like that. There should be a drug class. There should be sex education. There should be a class on scams. There should be a class on religious cults. There should be a, a class on police brutality. There should be a class on apartheid. There should be a class on racism in America. There should be a class on why people are hungry, but they're not. Their class is on gym, <laughs> physical education. Let's learn volleyball because one day we're going to, you know, it's... it's their class is like algebra, where I've yet to go to a store and said, um, can I have X, Y plus two and give my Y change back? Thank you. You know, I, I, can, I think you could let me out. I've lived, I've lived alone by myself. And the things that, that, I, that helped me were the things that I learned from my mother and from the streets. And reading has helped me. I mean, school has taught me reading, which is I love. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. That's it. Like foreign languages. I think they're important, but I don't think it should be required because they, actually they should be teaching you English and then teaching you how to understand double talk, politicians double talk, not teaching you how to understand French and Spanish and German. When am I going to Germany? I can't afford to pay my rent in America. How am I going to Germany? You know, this is, the, I, this is, this is what I mean by the basics and not the basics for me. And I think that it should be like college. You can go and take the classes that you want. And I think that like elementary school should be that way, where, you, where they give you the classes you should take for the basics. And then junior high school and high school should be the classes that you need in order to, to choose your path. I get in trouble, but... Um, oh, I hope I don't get in trouble, but... Um, oh, I hope I don't get in trouble, but... Um, I had to play that over and over again because he's an amazing man to me. I just find him to be so amazing. He's brilliant. He was one of the brilliant. You know, his mom was one of those Black Panthers and a political leader. She got caught out there with the drug uh, crack world, what have you. And he still had crazy, stupid respect for his mom. Understanding, you know, that you have a lot of moms who are suffering from depression, bipolar, PTSD, have been traumatized in life, schizophrenia, paranoia. And all types of other mental health issues. And yet these mothers still step up to the plate with all of their own problems. 
And unlike a lot of these fathers who just picked up and left, the mother stayed, and, and the way Tupac speaks of his mother <clears throat> is beautiful. And I hope he's up in heaven with his creator and he's out of the rat race. And, you know, he made his transition already. And uh, from what I can see, I know he, he wasn't perfect. Like I said, at the same time, I admire his way of thinking, especially when he says that the things that they teach us, maybe in elementary school, you know, teach you the basic reading, writing, arithmetic. Those are the basic things that you need. But once you get into high school, I feel that once you're in high school, you know, the things that they teach in school, it should prepare you for the real world and it should prepare you for life in the real world. You know, like he said, they should teach you about drugs, sex education, scams that you're going to run into, religious cults, police brutality, teach you about racism. How about why people are hungry? They never teach us about stocks and bonds, real estate, how to invest your money. And if you want to teach a language, teach us the language of these politicians and their double talk. Those are the things that you need in everyday life and you need to be aware of. And he is so right when, when it comes to high school. It can even start in junior high school. Do you know how far people would be, you know how many new businesses, if they would teach business management early on, you know, when you go to college, do whatever the heck you do, choose what you want to. But when it comes to trying to survive, not even survive because God didn't give us life to merely survive. One of the fruitages of the spirit is joy. God wants us to rejoice and to be joyful. Now, joy is so much better than happy because happiness, sometimes you're happy and then the happiness, it, it fades away. But when you have inner joy, joy is something that is lasting. Joy is when you have that inner light, that inner energy, that's just total sunshine and positive. And that's what God wants for us. Jesus Christ created us to have joy and to be joyful. Do you know how many people would be joyful if they knew how to invest their money properly, real estate, investments, they understand this devil talk, sex education. Do you know how many problems that would, would have been avoided if they teach sex education? If the parents don't like it, then take your kid out of school. Homeschool your kids. Because this is what's going to be taught in these public schools because it's a necessity. It's a, a, a please. All this crap teaching me gym and different languages, German. I'm not going to Germany. Don't plan on it. Spanish, if I want to learn those things, I can do that on my own. You know, you can hire a tutor or do whatever you want to do if you want to learn these different languages, which is great to know different languages, I feel. At the same time, it shouldn't be a requirement or mandatory. This man spoke with so much wisdom here. I miss, I, I miss this kid. I remember I went to uh, Las Vegas and we went to the, the wax place and they had pictures of Tupac. <laughs> I took so many pictures with that man. Oh my goodness. You know, and I'm hoping that he's in a, he, he, he made it to his transition. You know, I, I, I love this man. And what made me love him more than anything, more than anything is the respect and how highly he spoke of his mom, even though we all know she wasn't in a good place. But anyway, I want to play this again because I love to reiterate things that are meaningful and that are very, very important and that I'm hoping that you put emphasis on as well. Oh, I hope I don't get in trouble, but um, school is, I think that we got so caught up in school being a tradition that we stop using it as a learning tool, which it should be. Like, up to this day, I mean, school should be, I think there should be a different curriculum in each and every, like, neighborhood, you know? Because I'm going to Tam, Tamapai High, and I'm learning about the basics, but they're not basic for me, you know? And it's like, they're, they're not, to, to get us ready for today's world, they're not, that's not helping. 
it's just what they took. So it's what we're gonna take, you know. And that's why the streets have taught me. And um, but school is really important: reading, writing, arithmetic. But I think after you learn reading, writing, and arithmetic, that's it. But what they tend to do is teach you reading, writing, and arithmetic, then teach you reading, writing, and arithmetic again, then again, then again, just making it harder and harder, just so, to keep you busy. And I, that's where I think they messed up. There should be a class on drugs. It should be a class on sex education, a real sex education class, not just pictures and diaphragms and unlogical terms and things like that. There should be a drug class. There should be sex education. There should be a class on scams. There should be a class on religious cults. There should be a, a class on police brutality. There should be a class on apartheid. There should be a class on racism in America. There should be a class on why people are hungry, but they're not. Their class is on gym. <laughs> physical education. Let's learn volleyball. Because one day we're going to, you know, it's, it's their class is like algebra. Where I've yet to go to a store and said, um, can I have XY plus two and give my Y change back? Thank you. You know, I, I, can, I think you could let me out. I've lived, I've lived alone by myself. And the things that, that, I, that helped me were the things that I learned from a mother, from the streets. And reading has helped me. I mean, school has taught me reading, which is I love. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. That's it. Like foreign languages. I think they're important, but I don't think it should be required. Because they, actually they should be teaching you English and then teaching you how to understand double talk. Politicians double talk. Not teaching you how to understand French and Spanish and German. When am I going to Germany? I can't afford to pay my rent in America. How am I going to Germany? You know, this is, the, I, this is this is what I mean by the basics are not the basics for me. And I think that it should be like college. You can go and take the classes that you want. And I think that, like, elementary school should be that way, where, you, where they give you the classes you should take for the basics. And then junior high school and high school should be the classes that you need in order to, to choose your path. So, you feel oh, I hope I don't get in trouble, but... Um, like I said, I love you, Tupac. The world really uh, lost someone great, you know. Um, <clears throat> you know, it would have just been awesome if he would have had the chance to turn his life over to God and Christ. And I love this man. I just totally do.